and we are so glad that you are joining us. We are having our meeting, and uh, we are here to worship the Lord, and we invite you to stand up, please. So, my name is Hadar, and I am one of the volunteers of the English ministry. And, again, welcome for this meeting. Amen? Amen. Uh, we are going to have our uh, special time of worship with the worship team, but before we are praying, let's pray together. Lord, thank you for this opportunity, Lord. We are here, Lord, to worship you. Thank you for this opportunity to stay here together, to become here, and thank you for our presence. Send your Holy Spirit to this place, fill this place and change this atmosphere. Send your Holy Spirit and talk, and talk to us for this afternoon. We also thank you, Lord, that you are loving us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus Christ has died and raised for our, for our sins. Thank you for this opportunity. In the name of Jesus, receive our, our praise, receive our prayer. In the name of Jesus, thank you so much. Fill this place, Lord. Receive our worship in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Are you ready to praise Jesus Amen. this afternoon? I truly believe you're not here just to fulfill some kind of agenda, just for one more service. I truly and honestly believe that God has a purpose in your life in this place this afternoon. So I invite you, with everything you have, with all your heart, as it was the last time you would sing to God, that you give Him all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor with everything you have. Can you do this? Amen. Let's do this together. Amen. So we will start declaring that He is an amazing God, Amen. and that we are grateful for His amazing grace. Father, we thank you, Jesus, for everything you are and for everything you've done in us. Thank you for your presence here in this place. Have your way here, Holy Spirit. Guide us, conduce us in this afternoon. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. 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 We praise you, Jesus, with everything we have.
Tell him that he's everything you need.
sorry, uh, verse 9. Honor the Lord with all your wealth, with the first fruits of your crops. When your bars will fill with overflowing, and your vats will bring over with a new part. That's a great opportunity that you have, that you all have, that you honor the Lord with everything that you have. And if you do this, God promised the overflow, all that is already provided for you. Okay? And also, it's very close to hearing one of my favorite verses in the Gospel, which is very close, Proverbs 3, verse 5. If you need any kind of provision for the Lord, just meditate on this verse. It's very awesome verse. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight. So if any of you are struggling financially, trust the Lord. Ask Him for direction, for wisdom, for everything that you need. Surely He will provide for you. So now, let's come back to the front and bring your tithe and offering to the Lord. Okay. Even if you, you came through 
uh, during the, this past week, uh, a week of full of problems and circumstances, know that God wants to restore your strength, please. God wants to restore your, your mind, and that His presence there is freedom to you. Amen? Amen. And that He's here. And uh, when I, I saw, I got that vision, uh, oh my goodness, oh my God, thank you so much for being here. We know that the Holy Spirit is with us at all the time. We know that, right? But sometimes, you know guys, that, that uh, the presence of the Lord is real, and for real, everywhere. But there is the manifested presence of the Lord. And that God used to manifest His presence to us in order to do something in our lives, in our hearts, in our families, and that He wants to manifest Himself to you in order to bring you what you need. Amen? Amen. So I want you to create more expectations in the presence of God because the Bible also says that we need to worship God. Jesus says that God is looking for, for sons and daughters uh, who will worship Him in the spirit and in truth. And uh, what does it mean? It means that when the Holy Spirit reveals to you who God is, you will worship Him truly. Amen. You know? And uh, we need the knowledge of the Lord in order to give Him the true worship. But I will, I want to, uh, to share with you something here. But first of all, I uh, just say to you, welcome again to the English ministry, uh, Laguinha, to the English service. And uh, I want to know who is here for the first time. I want to know, uh, stretch your hands and uh, raise your hands, just to know. Is there anyone okay, here for the first time? Or who is here visiting us tonight, today? A long time that you came. What, uh, you? Just stretch your hands. We have here also my friend Natalia. <laughs> Welcome again to the service, and uh, I want you, my my sisters, uh, to be uh, to feel at, at home here. We are here to serve all of you, and uh, I want to give you a card, a connect card. The worship team will give you this connect card so that you can be uh, more to, to can be closer to us, and uh, because we want to serve you. And uh, uh, saying about that, what do you please go to the next slide? Just say about that, I want to tell you and to remind some of you guys that also we have our grow groups. And uh, this is uh, the, the small groups that we have here. And uh, you know that what is important to us is not just being here, uh, preaching the word of God and singing songs together, but to strengthen, to, to strengthen our community. Because the church of the Lord is the community of the saints. And uh, when we are together, the Bible says that God commands His blessings to us. And uh, we are here not just to, uh, to meet up every single Sunday, but also to get connected throughout the week. And uh, we have these, these tools, these small groups to, to be more connected. And we have one on Wednesday and the other every Saturday as well. Uh, it is held at 8. 8 o'clock p.m., 8 p.m., every Wednesday and Saturday. And the guys, that's a blessing to, to be more connected. And uh, of course, uh, we know that nowadays because of the pandemic, we cannot encounter, we cannot meet up to, to be together because of that. So we are doing this online. And uh, if you want to participate, actually, I want to invite you to participate in one of those groups and you will be very, very blessed by uh, communion, fellowship with friends there, with our brothers and sisters, and uh, you grow spiritually. You know more about the, what God means uh, through through the, His Word, the Bible, and uh, we, can, we can have the opportunity to grow spiritually, to grow in the knowledge of the Lord so you can be a true worshiper and uh, live a life that pleases the Lord. Amen? Amen. Next, please, Wadi. The next slide, please. Okay. If you, you are not following us in our social medias, please go to our Facebook, our, to our Instagram, and uh, subscribe.
describe also our channel, English Ministry La Bonilla, and uh, we want to make the social networking grow because we want to spread more the word of God. And uh, I don't know about you, but since I, I came back to this ministry, I've been very blessed uh, through this ministry because I'm learning a lot with the, the pastors, the leadership, and uh, uh, from each other. I've been learning, learning a lot with all of you guys, uh, from you, from our leadership, and that's a blessing. And uh, we want to spread those teachings through our social networks. And uh, the last thing that I want to say to you is that uh, how many of you know that today is the Pastor's Day? Today is the Pastor's Day. And uh, guys, please, let's... Uh, Let's honor our pastors. Uh, we have here Pastor Andre and the Pastor Javier, uh, who are here serving us with all their hearts and uh, putting their, their lives in this ministry in order to bless your life. And afterwards, after the service, go, go to Pastor Javier. Pastor Andre is in, in, yeah, in the United States, so you can text him or send a message to Pastor Andre to bless his life. And also today you have the opportunity to, to greet Pastor Jader personally. And uh, Pastor Jader, uh, on the behalf of the, all the, the members of this ministry the service, we want to say thank you very much for being here. You and Pastor Andre to serve us and uh, we learn a lot from your life and from Pastor Andre's life. And uh, we bless your life and uh, we, we see you uh, this word, this word that God told us, actually there is a promise in the Bible. Let me read, read that for you and uh, for all of you guys. But before I read that, let's clap our hands to the Lord to glorify the Lord. Of course, 
above their heads are supernatural. That is the anointing of the Lord that enables them to lead us. Amen. To teach us in the word of God. And the pastor rather. Uh, let's stand up, please, everyone. And uh, let's pray for Pastor Jader. I would like you, everyone, to stretch your hands and to begin to pray for his life. But when I say pray, open up your mouth, please. Amen. <laughs> we Amen. to talk to our friends and we talk too much with others, but with God, we are. Come on, guys. <laughs> begin to pray to bless his life and to bless Pastor Frank's life uh, because they, they were here. God called them. Yeah. Amen. Father, we praise you and thank you so much, my Lord, because uh, you have chosen Jader and uh, Andrew's life, Lord, to lead this group of people that are part of your church. And uh, we want to say, God, that we are thankful for their lives, for their hearts, because they are pastors after your own heart, God. And we want to bless them. We want to say to you, Lord, bless every area of their lives and uh, we, we ask you for strength and for wisdom for their lives God keep guiding them because you are the good shepherd the good shepherd they are also uh, pastors uh, Jader and Andre and we declare Lord that uh, from today Lord their ways we will be more spread and will be more spread by you in the name of Jesus and we want to declare that as they walk in your will Lord more anointing will be poured out on their lives in the name of Jesus Lord we declare that Jesus will be seen will continue to be seen in their lives wherever they go and we, we declare Lord that as they do their works Lord as they do the, your will Lord we declare that Jesus will manifest it through their lives in the name of Jesus we declare that we declare the blessing over their families and we declare the restoration that they need for this time in their minds and their souls Lord bring a spiritual refreshment for their souls this time in Jesus name my Lord because you know that that to, to be a pastor is not easy, but at the same time, that is a pleasure. But in, in hard times, Lord, we pray to you, God, that you give them the grace that they need to keep, to keep doing what you were called it to do in your kingdom. In Jesus' name, Lord. And for tonight, Lord, we want to ask you for Pastor Jader's life, Lord. Oh, Father, give him the boldness that he needs to preach your word today. Give him the anointing, the wisdom, the spiritual discernment that he needs to share with us, Lord, your word in the name of Jesus. Father, as you used to do to us, Lord, I ask you to speak through his mouth tonight, and I declare that every person here will never be the same after that message. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we rebuke it. Every spirit that tries to to steal, to, to steal, to rob the seed of your word from our hearts in Jesus' name, Lord. And we ask you, my Father, send more angels into this place because we need the heavenly atmosphere invading this place, Lord, to keep our eyes focused on you and in, 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 your, in your word in the name of Jesus, Father. And open our spiritual eyes and our spiritual ears to listen to you and to see what you want us to see tonight. Oh, Father, we don't, we are, we're not here, as our brother said, we're not here just to fulfill an agenda. We are here to encounter your presence. We are here, Lord, to listen to your word through Pastor Shadow's life, through Pastor Shadow's mouth, Lord, and that uh, everything that we are praying right now, Lord, is all that we believe. And uh, we declare, Lord, we declare that you are the God of our lives, that you are the God of Pastor Jader's life. And uh, Andre and Fabiana, Lord, keep protecting them as well in the name of Jesus. And we say our hearts are open to listen to you. Can you say with me, my brothers and sisters, can you say that? God, God, God my, heart my heart is open. To listen, to listen to your voice, your voice. Speak, to me. speak to me, change my mind, change my mind. and change my, life. change my life completely, completely. in the name of
name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Can you praise God? Can you praise Him? Amen. Thank you. And Kelly, I'm really surprised at this time. I was not knowing that today is the first of day. Until this morning, when I was receiving some messages, some messages. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. God bless Amen. you, everyone, for your prayers. And we are here in charge of the meeting. Me and Kelly. Fabio and Manuza, because everyone, uh, you know, Pastor Andrew is out for the time. So, and again, you are welcome here. We love you. Amen. 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 And we, as you know, we, we are having our sermon series. Uh, Anna Kelly started last Sunday. Uh, she, she, she was was introducing the, the topic very well about the topic we are preaching tonight, starting tonight. And I would like to continue, continue this topic about communication. And again, was preaching about some topics about communication, and tonight I would like to continue talking about God's communication. Amen. Amen. God's communication is a very good topic because we need to, to open our hearts to communicate with God, communicate with one another. You can't live without communication. So, let's open our Bible. In Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1, verse 1 to 4. Amen. So as I am saying, communicate with God, Hebrews 1, verse 1 to 14 to 4 says this. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets at many times and in various ways. But in these days, in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, whom he appointed her of things and through whom he made the universe. The Son is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. word. After he had provided purification by his sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. So he became as much superior to the angels as the name he has inherited. He is superior to names. Amen. Amen. Father, this is your word. Thank you for these messages. Help me, Lord, to share this, this in boldness. I need your presence. I need you, Lord. I need the Holy Spirit to help me. So, here I am. Use me, use me to share this, this message and talk to everyone. May everyone have our 
open heart to receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 You know, God created us in our image to be social beings with a need for communication, and the Bible is a book of clear communication because it has the best message to the world that is the voice of the Creator. Amen. God created us so, so that He might fellowship and communicate with us. God is looking for those who want to be intimate with Him. God is looking for people to be intimate with Him. In Psalm 25, verse 14 says this, The Lord confides in those who fear Him. He makes His covenant known to them. God is looking for those who, 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 who wants to be in, in intimacy to God. Because we are beings communi to communicate. We need to be communicating here, to be communicating every time. Communication consists basically of talking and listening. Like I said, a Sunday. Sometimes listening is more important and difficult than talking. Amen. Yes. Yes. Listening is more difficult many times. Many people have a difficulty to be listening. You know, many people are always talking, talking, talking. He wants only to talk. He has a facility to talk. Struggling to be here and communicating through the sermon, but with God's grace I am doing it. Amen. But many people want to be talking, 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 talking a lot. Only talking. They are driven only to talk. In opposite sides are those who are indifferent, apathetic, inside seven times. They don't like to, to, to communicate. They, they prefer to be in, in a quiet place. But it's not good. We have to, to, to be in balance. But to communicate is good. They have some, some issues related to communicate in the perfect way with people that is not in any in a, that way. Sometimes by a consequence of the past, sometimes they have some problems in the, the, the childhood. And nowadays they become with some problems of communicating. They don't like to be communicating, crying, because a consequence of the past, some emotional problems in the past. I, I have a history in my family of this issue from my mother's example. My mother, only my mother had this problem. She was unable to speak her heart. She was offended, hurt, when anyone talks something that she doesn't like. She, she felt some offended. Silence. I, I, when I was a child, I, I have seen my mother in a great silence, complete silence, days alone. Because this woman was always suffering, vomiting, headache, liver problem. I, I have seen this all my childhood. So she died. She died. Young because she was she had a, a serious problem about the situation. And I was growing up that really that really impacted me in, in my in my in my life in bad ways. I learned to react in the same way my mom did. 
But Philip is not looking at seven days and that. And she, she, she was saying before that. But I inherit this problem. And before I accepted Jesus, I had a difficult time with my friends and my job in school. I have some problem about it. When I, uh, I first became a Christian here in La and back in 1991, I remember of a Sunday morning here in the, the, the old temple, 1991. That was one year that was there, no one, uh, long time ago. So, the meeting was a bit different from, from today. The worship team was displaying the hard feet away. The, the, they were positioned in the front seats of the church. And, the, and the, they sang from there. The pastor was here. The pastor was, was the, 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 the preacher and the leader of the worship team. And the, worship, the, the microphone was in the chair. Uh, each one of the, the members of the worship team came with the microphone and from the, the, the front seat they were making the, the worship time. So, and I was there on, on, on the Sunday morning. And because I was involved in the ministry choir, choir the, the, the church, I, 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 I noticed that the, the worship team was not coming, all, all the members were, was not coming, and Pastor Marshall, so 9, 9 a.m. he started the meeting. And not just one member of the worship team was there. As I was a member of the choir, I was sitting in the second row, I thought, I am a member of the choir, I help. Amen. So I I took the microphone and started singing with the, the, another one on it. As I was doing it, I noticed the weird look in Pastor Mas's face me, at me. Kind of have proven because I was a member of the worship team. Then he called a guy named Fonal and I Notice him waiting to Ronaldo, like, Ronaldo, get the microphone, place him, place him. I saw that and I felt so sad, but Ronaldo came close and replaced me. Guys, I felt terrible at that moment, because my only intention was to be happy. So, so suddenly with me, I grew in an anger, an anger toward Pastor Massu. And I, I wish to, to never, I wish, I, I wish to, to never come back to the church again. I get back to the second row, I have my seat, down my head, anger and so massive. and I started to, to pray. I was praying, God, God, help me, help me, God, help me. I need, I don't accept this feeling in my heart. Help me to forgive, Pastor Master. Help me, help me. I need your help, Lord, Holy Spirit. So then I understood that wasn't a I wasn't the same again I, anymore. I was something was different in my heart. I was I was not like in the past when I had inherited some feelings from my mom. And I I I, I was praying, praying, praying. Suddenly my heart was free from this feeling. And I, at the end of the meeting, I had a breakthrough and I was free from that feeling. 
But the best part of this this, uh, of this is the, in the following Sunday, or two Sunday late or three, I don't remember. I was there in, uh, again, and the, the same situation happened. I was in my seat, the worship team was missing people, so for this time, they invited me to help. So I accepted. And when I was there, I, I was singing, so I could see Pastor Marcus looking for me, and I, I, I can see he, he was showing a, a big smile for me. But that, so, the, the things were changed. Hallelujah. He, and I, I have this breakthrough, and that means a lot to me. That means a lot to me because the same way the Holy Spirit changed my heart, the Holy Spirit changed Pastor Master's heart too. Amen. So let's come back to our talk. Nowadays, life, lifestyle provides a breakdown between families. Fathers can talk to their kids, kids can talk to their fathers because they are attached to their phones and games and, and time. They, even parents are, are sometimes doing that because they are involved, they are, they are attached to games and there are there are a breakdown between them and families. So, God communication is when someone understands what the other say. It's the good communication. You should not have a good communication for your for, for your relation. A good communication blocks your your relationship. Of, I mean, if you don't have a good communication, your relationship cannot survive. But what about God's communication? God's communication. About God's communication. God never stopped communication with us. Even when the men disobey God in the hidden, hidden garden, hidden garden, Adam and Eve, they had a bad communication with the devil. And they became separate. Separated. Separated from God. But God came out to restore the communication. Like, Adam, 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 where are you? God, God went to, to Adam and was like, where are you, Adam? Let's communicate. Let's communicate. But Adam was like many of us when doing the wrong things. Indifferent, apathetic, and God came for a conversation. And God said, come on, let's talk about what Adam was hidden. You know the story. The consequences were terrible. So, but Jesus, through Jesus, we have some ways to communicate to God. Through Jesus, only through Jesus. Jesus has started our communication to God. Jesus opened the way. Now we are free to talk to God every time, everywhere. We are free to talk to God, to communicate to God. Amen. So, I would like to share with you some ways to communicate with God. Some ways. Only three. The first one is by prayer. By prayer. First Thessalonians 5, verse 16 to 18 says this. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and never think, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Amen. Pray is the first way we communicate with God who created us, created us, and saved us to Jesus Christ because He desires, He desires to be in a re relationship with us always. 
It's very important for a Christian to develop a strong prayer life. Very important. You need to be praying all the time. Develop a, 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 a style of praying every day. <laughs> develop it in your life. Be praying, be praying. Develop a strong prayer life. But God wants to be hearing you. Prayer reminds us that we are not, not in control. We are not in control, but God is. God is in control. We, in prayer, even those who are physically weak, become stronger. When facing the battle or in the spiritual strength, God grants us power over the enemy. And it's because we have to be praying. Yeah. Example, how many times in the marriage the thing seems going well, but suddenly the anger came out. In the marriage, the difference came out like my mother's family, my mother's family, my own family. As my mom, maybe use this indifference because many people are weak in prayer. The devil finds a way to enter in our life and destroy our communication with God. Amen. Amen. So God immediately go immediately to a conversation with God. Go immediately to a conversation with God don't let the time pass over. Don't let the time pass over. The Bible says, do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. Do not give the devil foothold. Do not give the devil foothold. Don't, don't delay in solve the problem of anger in your heart. Go immediately, immediately to God. Don't let the sun go down while you are still angry. Don't let the other day be angry in your heart. Solve this immediately. Talk to God. Pray. You can be free in the first moment. You don't delay to the day, the other day, the first, the second day. Amen. Amen. The second way is approaching to God with confidence. Approaching to God with confidence and faith. Ephesians 3 12 say, says this. In him and through him and through faith we may approach God with freedom and confidence. In him through faith we may approach God with freedom and confidence. How comfortable when we are approaching to God. How comfortable. Can you say, Abba Father, Abba Father, Abba Father, <laughs> Abba Father, God, God, here I am, God, here I am, look at me, God. I am desperate for you, God. You can say this every time. This is acceptable every time. So, you are ready to enter God's presence to be communicating with your creation, creator. In the past, we became sinful. We were by nature the work of entering the God's presence. God is perfect in holiness. We have fallen before God's requirements. The only hope is going to God's world where believers in Jesus are plenty allowed. Through Jesus we are plenty allowed to go to God. To go to approach God. We are now spiritually born into God's family. We are now children of God. Amen. Amen. We can ask for everything to God because the Bible says this is the confidence we have in approaching God. That if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know He hears us, whatever we ask, we know 
that we have what we ask for him. We have what we want from God. We can ask God every time. God is available. God is always available. The three way I would like to share is communication in obedience. Communication in obedience. How important is to obey God in your life? Is God always pleased with those who are working hard, who are prophesying, driving out demons, and performing miracles? Not always. Many will say to the Lord of the day, in Matthew 7, Matthew 7 22, 23, says this, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, and we, and in your name, drive, drive, drive out demons, and in your name, perform miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, if you do it. Away from me, if you do it. People, we have seen many churches teaching people to do, to be doing something, to be be focusing, receiving from God, doing, 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 doing. But God sometimes never knows. The real issue is not what we are doing for God. The real issue is we are obedient to God. Are we obedient to God? To obey is better than sacrifice. We know the story of Saul in 1 Samuel 15, 22 when Saul, Saul was a king chosen by God really chosen by God but, but mm, he chose to disobey God because they were uh, he was a, a king disobedient to God when God Send a message to him, go to the Malachites, destroy everything, don't touch nothing. Do not. But Saul disobeyed God. When he was confronted to the prophet, to the prophet Samuel, he, he says, I am doing what God says, but some things the soldiers took to a some sheep, some cattle to offer to God. But someone else says to him, to obey is better than sacrifice. Because he blamed the soldiers. He blamed the soldiers. The soldiers took the cattle and sheep to, to offer it to God. Someone else said, said to, the, to him, to obey is better, is better than sacrifice. God loves our sacrifice, but values our obedience more. Values our obedience more. We have to be obedient more than sacrificing to God. Be obedient. Be obedient. Obedience, obedience is always more important than our sacrifice of time, of money, of efforts. Obedience is more acceptable to God than sacrifice. Disobedience, disobedience blocks our communication with God while obedience opens the pathway of communication with God. Amen. Amen. So, to, to finish, I would like to, to say something. I'd like to invite the worship team to come. God created us, men and women, to be communicated with Him, and with each other, we are constantly communicating, even if we are not speaking. We are always communicating. We are communicating by our body, by our posture, postura. We are always communicating. By the way you put our arms, when you look at anyone, you know what they are sent, the message they are sent, by the face, by the body. We are always communicating. 
Although we might imagine that the key to Christian communication resists our mouth speaking or in, he in ears listening, Jesus reveals that the key to communication is found deeper in the heart. Amen. The key to communication is deeper in our hearts. You speak what is inside our hearts. We can't speak good things if, if our heart is full of bad things. It's impossible. Amen. In Matthew 20, in Matthew 12, 23, 25 says this. Make a good, make a tree good and Make a tree good and its fruit will be good. Or make a tree bad and its fruit will be bad. For a tree is recognized by its fruit. You are brood of vipers. How can you, who are evil, say anything good? For the heart speaks what the heart is full of. A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him. And an evil man brings evil things out of the evil story of him. Amen. We are we are we close our eyes. We pray to God. Say to God, God, change my heart if anything bad is inside me. Please help the Lord. Let help the Lord. I need to change. I need your presence. I need your help. Close your eyes while you are listening to the song.
But I receive it from the Lord what I also pass it to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. Prepare your heart to, to participate in the Lord's Supper. It's a holy moment. When we are, we are in remembrance of the sacrifice of Jesus for us. So for now we are going to come to the front and receive the, the, the bread. Thank you. 